<laughs> good day, good day. How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and have I got something for you today? Yeah, we're going to be talking about these beauties here. Yeah, hey, look at this. Hot Wheels, we've got the Fast and the Furious, that was the first release of the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop, all right? So the second one we saw was this one here, the Hot Wheels uh, Car Culture uh, pre Premium, so that's metal on metal, and uh, real, real Riders, the Land Rover Defender 110 Hardtop in the uh, rescue, search and rescue. Awesome model. And I got some loose ones here. That is cool. We're going to take a look back at these because. Ba bam! Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. We got to get the sound effects with that. <laughs> ba bam! Check it out. Thanks to uh, my diecast meet this, uh, this, actually, this last Saturday. Um, I'm filming this on Sunday so I can get it out to you this Monday morning. Uh, SC Diecast, I'll tag the, another video that we had from SC Diecast. Thanks to uh, uh, Lindsay and Scott. Uh, Lindsay was there and she sold me <laughs> She sold me all these, yes. Yes, for an awesome, decent price. Uh, they are a distributor and uh, you, know, you can follow them on Facebook uh, and Instagram. SC Diecast. And, uh, yeah, so she, <laughs> I bought one right away, and then I'm like, oh, I'll take another one. And then right at the end of the show, I'm, so, I'm like, Lindsay, do you got one more that I could buy? And she's like, yeah, I could sell you one more. Because <laughs> now I've got three of them. And, and, like, I mean, no more price than at Walmart. So I got them right away. So guess what we're going to do? That's right. We're going to open one of these buggers up. That's right. Oh, let's let's first uh, make room for the new one. Yeah, that's right. That was all planned right there, by the way. Uh, let's make room for the new one, all right? Yes, there we go. Um, don't have too many of these. Got quite a few of these that uh, flooded the market with these. Uh, these, we'll see. We'll see, all right? All right, well, right now, let's uh, crank down here a little bit and... Uh, Get on with opening this beauty up and see what we have. Yes. Sorry, I'm kind of a little off uh, camera on this, but I want to open this nicely because I like to save the packaging and, and all that kind of weirdness and stuff like that. So, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. The fresh, the new. I love this uh, decor. This is awesome. Let me try to see if I can uh, fix the lighting now that we got this open. Yeah, all right, look at this baby here. Yes, I love that green. I, I don't know if I should even describe what kind of green it is, but it is awesome. Yes, okay, now if we could focus, that would be awesome. All right, yeah, I think that does say yes, right behind the front mud uh, eyebrow there, mud flap, uh, mud mud yeah a tdi defender very very nice come around to the back there we have the defender the 110 on the license plate defender under the land rover uh insignia now that is a window i don't know if you can quite pick that up there is a brace in the back there and you can just barely see that but the uh, van style door on the back now this is metal on metal. Let's take a look at the side that you don't get to see in the packaging. Very, very nice. Kept with the same style of wheels that, uh, I don't know, is that uh, 12 spoke wheel? I think it's kind of a bead locker with those uh, dots around the rim there. Let's take a look at the front side here. Yes, the old Land Rover right on the nose of the bonnet. We have uh, nicely detailed uh, headlights. That's not just silver. There is some uh, checkered pattering, I guess. I patter, pattering, <laughs> patter, pattern, pattern, pattern. Yeah, there's a checkered pattern. 
on the headlights. I'm all getting excited because I'm waiting for the Packers to play today. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at the bottom here. Uh, it should be the same old, same old here. Uh, made in Thailand, Land Rover Defender. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, this is the first one. Is it? Did it have all that writing on there? I guess I, I've forgotten how much uh, they jam on the bottom of these things. So there we go. Yep, same same base for the black and uh, same base for the, this one, um, the base on this one here, the yellow one, seems to be a little bit more polished. Um, you know, it's not, it's not flat. The first two I think were flat and this is more of a gloss. I don't know, do you think that? I think that, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, very nice, very nice. There we go. There are the three brothers. Uh, let's get them in here. Let's get them in here focused on there. Yes, excellent, excellent. I tell you, this is just awesome. Uh, couldn't have, you know, this was awesome. The, the, the blacked out, all black, you know, fast and furious, you know, that this here was awesome awesome just the the search and rescue that you know knowing that the land rovers are uh the you know rescue and help vehicles uh known around the world and then this the classic the classic defender yes 110 uh tdi that's a uh, turbo diesel if you don't know what that means a turbo diesel uh i believe that isn't that uh four six uh turbo diesels jeez you know i i am not familiar with the turbo diesels i, I know it's a four i believe it's a six too isn't it yeah we don't, we don't get them here in the states because um the uh, dot is retarded but <laughs> but anyway all right hey on a, just a beautiful cream top you know the last two we're black. This one's got a, a beautiful cream top or white top to it. I, that's not cream at all, Dan. That is white. A uh, little bit, I think the, the window shade's a little bit the same. I, uh, this one seems to be a little bit darker uh, window shade than the rest of them. Let's see if we can get them kind of, boy, that looks the same now. I don't know if that, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, just a very, very slight difference with this one here. But uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a look at, uh, I've got this one here. I've got uh, this one here. I've got a ton of these. They flooded the market with these. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to drill one out. That's right. So I got my handy dandy drill here if I don't knock everything over. And we're going to drill one of these out and uh, see how they're doing on the inside here. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can just kind of gently do this. Kind of see if you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Nice, sharp, uh, new drill bit so you don't have to get too crazy with that. Yes. I got a piece of block uh, uh, P PDE uh, block under my towel here. So we can just kind of just carefully. Now this is metal on metal, so you're not going to really get too awfully crazy with it. But uh, there we go. Now with the the back one, that's square. We can just go straight down with that one there. You don't want to hit the hit the framework there, but we're just going to go straight down with that one. Not bad, not bad. We're almost there. Hold on. Oh, I should have warned you if you were squeamish of heart. Look away, look away. This is going to be uh, very, very interesting, okay? Yes. Uh, I think we got to go just a little bit more. I've done this once before, so I kind of, whoop, I kind of can tell what we got left on for. that rivet head just kind of knocking it off so I can get a better cleaner look here this has got just a little bit and just push just a little bit off to the one side we're gonna try it ladies and gentlemen we're gonna try it 
All right, we'll scoot that to the side and get our handy dandy screwdriver out. Which one do I want to use? I'm gonna use a flat bladed screwdriver here. Just do a little prying. Oh, that's still pretty well locked in there, isn't it? Try to do it in an area where you can't really mar up the paint or whatnot. All right, I think we've got it here. We're gonna take a little, oh yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Just give it a little wiggle. There we are. All righty. All right, let's take a look. Now, we already did, oh, sorry. We already did the black one, so we know kind of what to expect there. Uh, we'll just kind of disassemble that one again. This one's got a, a nice, unique uh, little, uh, oh yeah, and then the front end comes apart. So let's see if we got the same kind of, should have the same. <laughs> like I'm going to discover something different, huh? Then that just slides off like that. There we go. So yes, we have the uh, same pertinier, same... Uh, exact thing going on here you bet you bet so uh nice so we could we could just go ahead and put these yellow wheels over here on this solid black one huh and uh just kind of see how that looks really weird like right uh, let's see these go these to go like a this and that and that to go like a this all right slap that let's just do that just real quick just to see what that black one with the with the yellow wow that, that reminds me of lego i don't know why <laughs> just kind of just giving me that lego experience maybe that lego is yellow but there you go that's kind of sharp there huh yeah anyway let's uh yeah let's put that back put that back uh so otherwise um uh, i'm not gonna cut apart drill apart this this white one yet but uh, yeah, they're uh, pretty much the same thing. We've got, uh, you know, black and yellow. The the uh, black uh, roof, same window tint, same uh, dash or uh, interior, and uh, yeah, headlights and grill. So all all the same. Yeah, very very nice. So just uh, all they're doing now. This one here. They, they would have the same black base. They would go back with this base here with this uh, interior and glass. And now they did change the body, which, you know, they're just painting that different. But the body is the same. But then they went ahead and changed the roof. So, yeah, instead of black, uh, having white. You know, asking why. Do you know why they put a white roof on there? Yeah, that reflects the uh, sunlight so it's not so hot. Yeah, did you happen to know that? Yeah, there you go. All right, well, there you go, folks. This is it. Uh, just a quick little look at the latest and greatest of the uh, Hot Wheels Premium uh, Land Rover Defender Hardtop. Yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. Can't get enough of these. This is going to be awesome. Uh, just a very nice truck. All righty then, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for joining me, taking, taking another review look at the new Land Rover Defender 110 Hardtop Premium from Hot Wheels. All right, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, big thumbs up, subscribe. Come on over to Facebook to the Facebook page, Roverland, and Instagram, Roverland Channel. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. I'm your friend Dano, and remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.